two, one. Go ahead. Hey, this is Mitch Halleck from Terrificon and King of the Nerds on Chaz and AJ, and you're watching Three Men in a Basement. Grotto for three men in a basement. Otto has just traveled 4,422 miles to come to this fantastic comic shop called Ages Comics of Alaska. Have you ever heard of them? I don't know. So, uh, 4,000 miles. I'm going to give you a tour of the video. They're having a fantastic tent sale today by you can see with this tent. We got some long boxes behind here. I'm going to introduce you to some of the staff and talk a little bit about the history. And also, you can see the fire that they have here at Ages Comics of Alaska in Wasilla, Alaska. So, Enjoy the ride. On the other side of the tent, we got bunches of long boxes set up. Olivia, how are you today? Pretty good, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you for setting us all this up, right? Oh, yeah, I'm super excited about the tent sale. Yeah. All right, so we've got all these books set up and we got books priced from what to what here? Uh, we've only got $1 books and $2 books out here. We're aiming for maximum deals. And then yes. this is our beginner box. If yeah. you're looking for something new to get into or you're new to comics, we want you to start here. Right, a dollar and $2 box books. After a week-long vacation, this is exactly what I'm going to be digging through. So stay tuned till the end of this video, and you can see what I picked up from all my hauls. So Olivia, I'm going to dig through this stuff. I'm going to probably talk your ear off, and I'll oh, go yeah, inside. By all, means. all right, right on. Can't wait to do some digging. So I am in the house beyond the shield. I'm in the store here at Ages, and you can see it's all set up. It's ready to go. Kevin's working so hard; it's unbelievable. And you're just going to follow me along. So um, as we go through the store. You got all your comic book supplies right here. You got your short boxes, bags and boards, everything that you have here. We've got your soda machines for when you get thirsty, okay? Now we've got some really cool stuff over here. We got this thump, uh, Thanos Pop, which is really cool. This is something that I really dig right here. This Voltron, I might be walking out with that. All right. Now we've got new releases all up and down this wall. So, go ahead. There we go. Lots of great stuff, shelf by shelf, all organized. Yeah. Kevin, it's alphabetically organized? It is, yep. Yeah, see, that doesn't happen in one of our LCS <laughs> So that's really great. Thank you for that, okay? Yeah. All right. Still big digging through all the moderns, but you know what? I forgot to put this Better A Bill, which I've been reading, and I've absolutely been loving this on my pull list for this week. So I'm going to grab this book, Kev. All right, we've got some other things here. And you've got all the Marvel Fortnite, right? For all your codes. Those are still there. I'm surprised those haven't sold out yet, Kev. Yeah, we went heavy. You went heavy, you went heavy, yeah, we went heavy. for the Fortnite people? All right. And over here, we've got some beautiful cosplay with, I believe, the owner, Queen Nieves herself, with the shield. Uh, we've got the, the bookshelf. You don't have to be, listen, what's this? If you haven't grown up by the age of, Oh my goodness, what was that? Uh, that's who Star Trek uh, motion sensor hit. So when it opens the door, it sounds like the, the oh, doors are okay. open. You know? Captain Kirk, come in, Captain Kirk. Klingons on the perimeter. Fire torpedoes. As a Trekkie, I love that. So the best thing about owning a comic shop is you get to get your own variants. Now take a stack at all these. I'm going to bring some of these back to the East Coast. This is the Red Sonia Dynamite Mars Attacks, limited to 500. I'm going to pick up a couple sets of these, maybe give them away. I threw them in the basement. So, really cool. What are the perks about owning your own comic shop? Not that I want to. New releases, unbelievable. All organized, all ready to go, all out for you. And you can see some of them already sold out. We've got a few issues left. Kevin, everybody on your pull box got their stuff? Yeah. All right, so this is the stuff that's open to the public. That is free game. That's free game? Yes, sir. That is crazy. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. So all free game, new releases, all this week. And you know that it's new releases because it says new release. Oh, we have our little TV going on where they watch Three Men in the Basement, Lords of the Long Box, Reggie Collects, all great channels that you guys should be following. And we have our kids section right here. What's up, boys? Hi. How we doing? We having a great time in Ages Comics of Alaska? Yeah! Yes, and who's on your shirt? Um, it's Spider-Man getting infected by Venom. Oh, getting and it infected. Says, we are Venom. We are Venom, very cool. Who's your favorite superhero, young fella? Uh, the Flash. The Flash, okay, how about you, friends? Who's your favorite superhero? I would take Superman. 
Superman, all right. So this is the kids section here at Ages. And you know, you can always come and find something good on here. We have a red Sonia slab stand uh, with a 9.8, and then we've got a fantastic display case. We got some Thor, some Deadpool, some Black Panther. And then down here, hidden, which I can't believe nobody's bought yet, is Superman, He-Man, first appearance of He-Man, and the CGC 9.0. Great book. All right, now we're gonna get slab heavy. This is the bathroom. I'll do a video from the bathroom later. So over here, we've got lots of slabs. Slabs delicious. We got 9-8 moderns. Uh, we got all kinds of great things up here. Uh, now we're gonna throw some fire down on you guys. With this, we have the Ages Comics of Alaska slab stands with some 9-8 goodness, as you can see all right here with some Batman and Harley Quinn statues. Uh, we've got some CBCS up here. We've got some signature stuff. So we've got some really, really great things that are happening here at Ages Comics of Alaska. And then right here, we've got our $3 comics, all great deals. And I do want to show off this box right here. This box was painted, handcrafted by a local artist, Mike Provo, who's working on a sketch for me as we speak. And uh, he actually painted this to make it look aesthetically appealing. As we're digging through the store, we have get one of the usual suspects here. One of the usual. Well, this is Jamie. Jamie's all the way from Wasilla, Alaska, a local here. Anchorage. Anchorage, from Anchorage, yeah. I apologize. The big, big town. difference. The, the big, big town. town. The big town. You don't come down to the valley that often, do you? Uh, this is, you know, I grew up in the valley, so. Okay, gotcha. See, I know, I know that term, valley. Yeah. I know that term, valley. So Jamie has just spent two and a half days educating me or making me realize how little I know of indie comics. So Jamie has been killing it right now. And then, was this your weekly pull list? Is this a week's one? Well, we're book? not going to talk about what's behind it. No, we're just not. Just in case we're my not. wife. Uh, oh, yes, okay. Yeah, but listen, it was. Don't you, don't know who, you, you don't know who these belong to? No, no. No, all right. But listen, this video is going to air probably about a week from now. Okay. Tell me a little about, about the stray dog, because it's probably over the top by the time, or we're going to give away. Is this a secret? Or? No. Uh, Paramount picked it up, they've optioned it to look at it. And uh, the big thing right now is uh, sending in a blank cover with a picture of your dog. Yep. You'll draw it up in uh, the stray dog fashion. Yeah. And send it back to you, CGC. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, that thing's uh, pretty much lit on fire. Fantastic. But uh, the, the entire series is it's a good, great awesome, series. Awesome. Great so now series. I'm going to, Jamie is going to text me what I should be reading on a weekly basis to help educate Otto on his independent reading. But... Last weekend, you were set up at a local college. Oh, I was. I was. I, mean, I was having a great. Time. We were having a great time. It was yeah. a great turnout, right? Yeah, oh yeah, and you know, just shove a bunch of books in the, the one dollar bins. Yeah. And, and see what and people see what pull sells. up, man. What you sells, man. It's funny because you know you, you go through there, and I know there there was a, a Deadpool, the yeah. uh, no Gwenpool, the first right. appearance. Yep. Right, Howard the Duck. It was sitting there. It was in there. I just wanted to see who recognized right. the bullet. You know well, what I mean? What did I get? I got two Riri, Riri yeah. Williams, Iron Hearts. Yeah. Iron Hearts. I got a Monica Rambo as Spectrum. Spectrum. I got yep. that. All for a great deal. So yep. these are the kind of deals that you find here in Alaska. These are all the great people that you meet. So Jamie, I appreciate you supporting the yep. channel, man. Appreciate all the information. So we're gonna see what's going on in the rest of the store. Thank you. All right, Jamie. Easy. This is the absolute fantastic bookshelf. It's got tons of things that are going on here. Uh, lots of books, lots of really cool signs. The Super Friends, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Super Friends. That's what I grew up to. Red Guardian down there. Uh, we've got this Star Trek thing. It's just really, really a great bookshelf. Um, and so I'm wondering where the owner of the shop, what is this? Look at this. Now, this is not what I expected. Dude, first of all, how come Chewbacca came out of the back of the store? Dude, I'll have the chin for this. I'm looking for Lou. Where's Lou? Hey, hey Lou. It's me. Oh my God, it's Lou. That was the corniest entrance ever. So here we are, we got Lou coming out of the bookshelf. Is there a secret room back there? Yes, there is. We don't want to give all your secrets away. This is where all the magic happens. That is behind yeah. here. That's Look right. at that. That's Kevin's dressing room. Everything That's Kevin's dressing room. Contractually, I can't show the dressing room without his consent. Correct. He gets like mad. He starts punching. He does. He, gave me, he looked at me sideways today like, yeah, when yeah, I was yeah, behind he, the counter. Like, he's wondering, what's his... Yeah, he gets, guy, he gets pretty so, violent. He gets pretty violent. All right, so here we are at Aegis Comics of Alaska in Wasilla, Alaska. We are with... One of the owners, Lou. We have Miss Amy, the other co-owner, over there with the girls of the comic shops. We've got some great patrons enjoying it. So 
Lou, tell us a little bit about ages. How long you been here? What are you about? You're about that life. We're about that life, brother. Yeah. You, you know us. Uh, we just is uh, how many years the doors been open? Well, we've been in business for two years, yep. but we've only been here since May. Second time, had yeah. a big move. Yeah, we did the uh, renovations, everything else. Uh, shout out to all our Patreon and everybody else that came in and just supported us. Yeah, but there's one of our Patreon. Right there, okay. But, there uh, go. Shout out to the Patreon. Know, just just uh, the people that helped this happen. You yeah. know, the, uh, oh, you a lot of construction here to make this wheelchair accessible for uh, people like Austin. Shout out to Austin. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, just the whole, the whole, this whole group of crazy people in right. this hobby. For you know, sure. You know, that, that make this possible. Yeah, right. right. Absolutely. It's really big. You know, Lords of the Long Box. Look, you can't do, shirt. You, you can't come. do you can't do a tank sale without wearing a Lords of Lombok shirt or rocking the shell top Adidas. Look at that. Nothing but style. Yeah, you can't. So you can't, you can't. I have taken a walk around. Yeah, I've yeah. seen some yeah, really yeah. cool things. You got your books. Oh, shelves. by the way, these aren't variants. These are not a, These are at least a nine point eight. The nine point eight. Those shelf are fresh, top. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fresh yeah, shells. Yeah, We're dating ourselves by saying that. <laughs> They're fresh. We're, we're fresh. They're funky fresh. Funky fresh. Lou is right. funky fresh, and so is his shop, you guys. So, four thousand miles to come in to dig through log boxes. I got a stack of books. You're not going to see that haul till the end. So. If this is the first time you've ever watched one of our videos from Three Men in the Basement, if this is the first time you're seeing Lou from Agents Comics in Alaska, Lou, tell them where they can find you. You're all over the place, right? Yo, like, we're you're all over social media. We're on YouTube. We're on YouTube. Social media. We're, right, we're, so we're, 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 we're on Three Men in the Basement. We're on Lords of the Long Box. Yeah. We'll crash his show from time to time. Spine yeah. ticks. Every Saturday, we're either doing the pre the, the warm up party yeah, with them, right. or they let us crash their show. Yeah, so. You're on Instagram, and, and then Sparks Comics on Sunday. We try to get on his indie show yeah. on Sunday. So. Although Sparks, we hate you, yeah. but we don't hate you for bad reasons. It's just that you make us buy more books, right? For sure, because he educates us on a holy sure. shit. All right. What the fuck? All right, so they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, they're on YouTube. They're on every part of social media possible. This is the place you want to be. We just had uh, one of Lou's old friends show up, so we're going to let you guys go. Ages Comics of Alaska, we're still in Alaska. Come find them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, sub up, share. We are out. Wait till I show you the bathroom. Oh my God. All right. Bro. I'm going to show you the bathroom. Look at all these prints. Bet you know I ever saw a bathroom this cool in a comic shop. All right, everybody, you saw the footage. You saw what it took. If I could only tell you what it was to travel 4,220 miles from home to go to an amazing comic shop, it was well worth every minute. So I do want to preface this. I was at a con, the Alaska Valley Mini Comic Con. You saw that video before where I did spend a lot of money. So when I went into Ages, you have to understand, it was an amazing comic shop. Amy and Lou are great people. Everything was very well priced, but I have a family of five and I'm in Alaska for eight days. So money was a little tight, but I got great deals and I'm gonna to explain to you how much I loved it. So I hope you enjoy this haul video part of it. I hope you enjoyed all the footage, especially that amazing bathroom and all the great people that work at Ages in Alaska, my good friends, my family. So it was just an amazing trip. So, all right, first couple books. I got Fortnite kids. My kids play Fortnite. They made me buy these. I hope the codes are in it. So I picked these up. I think this has the Snake Eyes code. If it doesn't, I don't know. My youngest, Christiana, was all up on it. So bought these, uh, cover price and my discount. And so that was good. So I got that. So that was pretty much like, Dad, can I get? Yes, just put it in there. Just put it in a pile. Forget it. Just, okay. Um, don't know why I picked this up. I just think this is a cool cover. This is $7.90. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, $7.90 to follow. I just, I don't know. I don't know what just happened. I just, I just love this book. Two bucks. I think I got it in a half price bin. So a dollar. Just a really cool cover. Absolutely love it. So I got that for the PC. Now, Lou turned me on to this Faith based comic book don't know 
not here to talk about religion or anything like that. So, but I will show it to you. So I did get this. Um, this is the Watcher. I can't wait to dig into this and find out about it. From what I understand, it's a faith-based comic. So I'm going to take a look at it and see what it has to do. But don't know too much about it. But Lou said, hey, check it out. And when you're a comic shop owner and somebody says, hey, check this book out, I'll check it out. Thank you, Lou, for that. Now, a book that the, the, um, the writer has been on the defects, the artist has been on the defects. I don't know too much about it. I just love the name. I love it. This is episode issue three. I had to get it. Now I got to go dig for the other ones. It is Hot Valley Days and Cocaine Nights, part three of three, the finale um, by Antarctic Press. These guys were on the defects a couple months ago. Everybody gobbled it up. I didn't. So found this there. So excited to have it. Price tag of $12, six bucks, half price. So I picked this up. Can't wait to dig into this. So really, really cool. Um, and then, you know, you can check out the defects for the story behind that. Pretty excited about that. Now, I have been buying these books up like crazy. And I always, I shouldn't say this, I don't always. I find issue one more so than I find two and three. Now, everything mutants is hot. And I don't say that because I'm a huge X-Men fan. I say that because I watch trends and I watch markets and I realize the way things go. Trains go east, trains go west. Things get hot. When first appearances become too expensive, people reach out to other issues. When second appearances become too much, they branch out to other um, issues. So these are books that I'm buying that I think are going to have huge value in the future because I'm a little bit older than a lot of people, but this was huge in the 90s. The X-Men Adventures was huge in the 90s. So I picked up one, two, and three of X-Men Adventures. All right, one you come across, three bucks. You can see the price tag right there, and it was half price. This is high grade, you guys. High, high grade. This is that. This is borderline slab worthy. Number two, the death of an X Men with the Sentinel. As much as I see number one, I don't see two and three. And here's number three too. Now, '90s book. You '90s guys, you're a little bit older. You got a little bit of expendable money. You're going after these books in nine eights. These are high grade books that I think are very undervalued. And for three. Six nine for four dollars and fifty cents. These are great investments. All right. Now these are, number one is an issue that I'm buying multiple copies of until I can find a few that I consider would be nine eight qualifiers, and I will send in an a nine eight submission. Okay. So yes, one two and three X Men Adventures books that Otto is buying on a regular basis. Um, this variant came in. I don't know too much about it. It was selling, people were buying, it's a wraparound cover, so I'm not an idiot. Different versions of Captain America. Kevin said it was selling it, I trust Kevin, so I bought it, I didn't want to miss out on it. All the versions of Captain America, it's a number one, don't know too much about it, but I'm going to give it a read and find out, but it is a wraparound cover, and this was cover price. All right. Now, next book. Is a book that I might send to the Dark Lord himself if he comments in this video. If TiVo comments in this video, which means he watched this video, then I will send this book to him because I know he's a huge Doctor Strange fan, as am I. So this is a King in Black cover. And this is an awesome Doctor Strange, like, psychedelic, hippie, kind of crazy book. So Doctor Strange, King in Black, neon, really trippy, but TiVo you got to comment in this video if you want me to send this to you for your birthday. This way I'll know you watch the video. But yeah, if not, I'll keep it in my Doctor Strange collection. I'm a huge Strange fan. Love it. A little bit dickoish if you ask me. So, okay. Now, I bought this too. I've been buying these up as often as I can. This, was a, this is a Star Wars Insider. I don't know who did this cover. This is not going to get sent out. But any type of Mando and Baby Yoda cover... On Star Wars Insider, I'm digging. I don't know who did the cover. I'd like to find out. Uh, it was damaged in the transportation to get it home. That's on me. So, yeah. But just a cool cover. Something I'm going to keep in a for a while. And I'm always digging the Star Wars Insiders. Now, I'm a huge fan of this series. I feel that this run is very, very underrated. Because there's not many first appearances in this uh, run. But this is a great book to have. This was very iconic when I was a kid. Uh, I have it in a 9-2, uh, 
I think this book will come back very high grade, maybe nine six if I buy, get my boys to work on it. And I paid half price, twenty five dollars for it. Now, this book came out in nineteen eighty. 81, I was, uh, 1981, Jesus Christmas, I was 10 years old. It is a Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man book. It is issue 64. It is the first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Absolutely phenomenal book. This book has long-term speculation. Cloak and Dagger was good. It, went, it was on WB, then went to Freeform, but there is room for this book to grow. An interracial couple, interracial characters with abilities that are drug related i mean talk about talking about books that people want to see this book is absolutely phenomenal cloak very dark can't really control his powers dagger good looking blonde girl with some you know throw some daggers you throw spider-man in there peter parker spectacular spider-man number this is 64 hoping for a 9-8 on this for 25 dollars so all in all, I think I spent $120 at Ages Comics of Alaska. Um, not counting their Comic-Con. Not counting all the other things that I got from them. So guys, in this video, comment, share, subscribe, like all our videos. I hope you did enjoy this video. It was by far one of the greatest trips I've ever taken as an individual. And on behalf of Three Men in the Basement, Roger Levesque, Dave in the Cave, I am Everdotto. Thank you, Ages Comics of Alaska, Amy and Lou, for being such wonderful hosts. I am out. Peace. Hi, I'm Al Milgram and you're watching Three Men in a Basement.